Today I stand to declare that no weapon shall prosper. For Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17 says, No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against me in judgment I shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. So I stand on the authoritative word of God with the full armor of God, according to Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 11, that I may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers of darkness and powers, against the world forces and darkness, against spiritual forces and wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, I take up the full armor of God that I may be able to resist in the evil day. And having done everything, I stand firm. For I know that according to the word of God in Luke chapter 10 and verse 19, Behold, I have been given the authority to trample on serpent and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. And so I decree and declare that no weapon formed or fashioned against me by man or spirit shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, I stand on the authority of the word of God and I declare that no weapon formed against my family shall prosper. Therefore, I pray that every plot of the wicked one to render my home headless, I stand and I declare that such plot is judged in the mighty name of Jesus because I've been declared to prosper in all I do according to the word of God in thought John that his wish for me is that I prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers. And so in the same vein, I declare that no weapon formed against my career or business shall prosper. For the Bible has said it in the book of John 5 and verse 19, that the whole world lies in wickedness, but I stand to resist that wickedness today. And I declare that every strong man speaking against my prosperity in my career, I render you useless and I render you powerless. In the name of Jesus, no weapon, I repeat, formed against my career shall render me useless because I declare that your power is gone today. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against any project I lay my hands upon shall prosper. For it is written in the book of Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 7, which says that the hand of Zerubbabel, I am the Zerubbabel in this instant, is laid on the foundation of the house and his hand shall also finish it. So whatever my hand touches shall be completed. I have laid my hands on the plow and I refuse to look back. And so what I start, I will finish. I will not just finish, but I will finish with a shout of grace, grace. I repeat, I decree and declare that no weapon formed against my project shall prosper. I also declare over my progress in life. And I say that no weapon formed against my progress shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I stand and I declare in the name of Jesus that today my progress is not halted. For according to the word of God in the book of Exodus chapter 14 and verse 15, the Lord God said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto me, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. And so I speak to myself, my family, my home, and all that I'm indulged with, that I go forward in the name of Jesus. Because the Egyptian that I see yesterday and today I see them no more. I move forward because I'm not permitted to drown in the sea of forgetfulness. I move forward because I'm not permitted to drown in my problem. I'm not permitted to drown in my shortcoming. I move forward because the word of God says that I prosper in all that I do. I speak again over my health. I decree and declare that no weapon formed against my health shall prosper in the name of Jesus because Proverbs 17 and verse 22 says a merry heart does good like medicine but a broken spirit dries the bone and so I speak upon you my spirit you are not permitted to be dry you are only permitted to have life and life in abundance I declare that my heart be merry nothing takes away my joy nothing steals my happiness in the name of Jesus I have a cheerful disposition because it is good for my health. Gloom and doom can leave my bone tired, so I reject it in the name of Jesus. Every evil report, every terrible news that will cause my heart to sorrow is far from me in the name of Jesus. Cheerfulness makes my mind to be healed 
in the mighty name of Jesus in Isaiah 42 and verse 6 it says the Lord has called me for a righteous purpose and in righteousness he will take me by the hand and keep me he will give me a covenant to the people and for a light to the nation the Lord will go forth like a mighty man he will arouse up with jealousy indignation and vengeance like a warrior he will cry yes he will shout aloud he will do mightily against his enemies and so i repeat over my health i declare that you are only permitted to be intact and nothing cuts you short and so again no weapon formed against my finance shall prosper my barn are plenty and so i declare that my wine press is caused to be filled on a daily basis Blessed be God who has taught my hands to make wealth. I see riches in hidden places, and my house is filled with riches. For Isaiah 45 says, Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held to subdue nations before him. I will unarm and ungird the loins of the king to open doors before him, so the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and level the mountains to make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the doors and bronze and cut asunder the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, it is I the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by name. And so no weapon formed against my finance shall prosper. I declare that as I travel, on whatever means I choose, no weapon formed against me shall prosper because as I go along the highways and the byways, I declare them safe for my sake. With whatever mode of transport I choose, I move with the speed of the Holy Spirit and I declare that I shall go out, I will go with peace and be led forth with joy. My return shall be with a testimony. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord God, because no weapon is permitted to prosper against me. I prosper in my health. I live in sound health in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak again as one with authority that no weapon formed against my financial prosper because the word of God says that my barn shall be filled with plenty and I will have in abundance and I'm caused that my wine press shall not lack anything. It shall not be dry. I'm blessed by God. I'm blessed going out. I'm blessed coming back. I'm blessed in my basket. I'm blessed in the fruit of my can. And so I repeat that no weapon formed against my finance shall prosper in the name of Jesus. My barrel shall not be dry. I rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus for in my pathway is life and no death. And so I declare that my finance is not permitted to be drowned. I rebuke every untimely death in my life. There shall be no death of livestock. There shall be no death of human beings. Nothing dies around me. Nothing dies in me. Nothing dies in my hands. And nothing dies with me in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is written in the book of Psalms chapter 118 and verse 17 that I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. And so I stand upon the authority of the word of God and I rebuke you on timely death. I rebuke you in my life. I rebuke you around me. You shall not have your power over me for your power has been broken in the name of Jesus. O death, where is thy sting? For your sting has been removed in the name of Jesus. Forgive the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in me. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken my mortal body by the spirit that dwells in me. In the name of Jesus, for it is written concerning me in Hosea chapter 13 and verse 14. I will ransom them from the power of a grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, where is thy plague? O grave, I will be thy destruction. And so every form of plague and death in my life, you are encountering the destruction from above. 
you are destroyed from within in the name of Jesus. Psalms 79 and verse 11 says, By the hedge of your protection, O Lord, preserve those that are appointed to die in the name of Jesus, I declare, if peradventure anything around me or within me has been ordained to die this year, I declare them paralyzed in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I wipe out my name from the register of untimely death in Jesus' name. Every arrow of slow death issued against me and my family, I declare back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare according to the word of God in the name of Jesus, I rise above the plan of the enemies upon my life to encounter untimely death. I will not sleep and from sleep to death. I will not run the race of death and I will not fall into death in the name of Jesus. I declare that my marriage will not lead me to early grave in the name of Jesus. My destiny that has been buried in the cemetery by the power of resurrection, I exhume them in the mighty name of Jesus. No no weapon formed or fashioned against me shall prosper. I reject every sickness unto death. In the name of Jesus, any power planning to poison me or to eat poison and die, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Every terminal sickness programmed to kill me before my time, I declare you rebuked and dead in the name of Jesus Christ every ancestral covenant or untimely death made against my life in every evil way i declare to you that i've been redeemed by the blood of jesus and so you have no power over me every power jingling the bell of death on my destiny i declare you dead in the name of jesus i rebuke the spirit of untimely death pursuing me from the grave of my forefathers once again i reenact the power and the covenant of jesus upon my life that by his death i have found life in the mighty name of jesus christ every power in my family assigned to cut short my life i rebuke you in the name of jesus blood of jesus deliver my soul from the spirit of death in the name of jesus every power using dream of anything or anyone around me to pursue me i declare you die in the name of jesus christ i put any part of my body that has been ordained to die i put you under the blood of jesus and i declare the resurrection power of christ upon you for those who look unto the lord will not be ashamed though the young lion may hunger and beg bread but because my eyes are fixed on you i will not lack anything good in life and so upon this word i begin to declare that i find help going out i find help coming in i decree and declare that i'm never stranded i declare upon my life that my going out is blessed and my coming back is blessed i decree i declare opportunity brokers in my way that when i go out i will meet men that are positioned to do me good just the same way there was a man positioned by the side of the well to give water to the donkeys I declare that there shall be men positioned to do me good in the name of Jesus just the same way the Samaritan woman encountered Jesus by the side of the well and her life was turned around I declare that everywhere I go to I find help in the mighty name of Jesus I will not be stranded I will not be refused I will not be rejected I will not be turned down those who have what I need and those who need what I have they locate me in the name of Jesus Christ I rise above my shortfalls in the name of Jesus for there is already a perfect exchange on my behalf and so for it is written that he became poor so that through his poverty I will be rich and so I declare riches on my path in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I find help every day of my life Marco Zobrandele Bosha why because God is my refuge and my strength he is my strong tower and my present help in time of need and I know that he will deliver me from the hands of the wicked because he's my hope and because I trust in him from my youth and so I declare great deliverance from everything that has kept me stranded I declare great deliverance from everything that has kept me down I declare great deliverance for everything that has kept me bound I declare that I'm free from oppression I'm free from being suppressed in the name of Jesus Christ I declare again that my help is in the name of the Lord for the righteous running to him and they are safe why he remains our strong tower I find help every day of my life. I cannot remain the same again, for the path of a just is as a shining light 
and so it is only permitted to get better for me. I move from glory to glory. I enjoy God's grace to the fullest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cannot be small. I cannot be few. I cannot be small. I cannot be few. I cannot be small and I cannot be few. I will sing with the voice of them that make merry because I have Jesus on my side and with God on my side it is written that one with God is majority. Who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass when my God has not spoken? And so the word over my life is that I will prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers. And so I find prosperity today in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I speak over my business. I speak over all that my hands find to do. And I declare that I cannot be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I know that you consider and you hear me. I know that you will enlighten my eyes to see opportunities in strange places. I know that even when I lie to sleep, my dreams shall be full of great inspiration in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I have trusted in the Lord's mercy, my heart shall rejoice in his salvation. In the name of Jesus, I will sing unto the Lord with a loud voice because he has dealt bountifully with me. I enjoy the best of God because I find help in his name. I receive strength from above because I find help in his name. I cannot be stranded. I cannot be shortchanged. I cannot be short paid. In the name of Jesus, there is power at work in me. It causes the rulers of darkness to tremble. And so I stand upon the authority in the name of Jesus. And I declare every strong man waging war against me, stopping and hindering me from getting to my place of destiny and obtaining all that God has ordained for me. I Pull you down today in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. I declare your power rendered useless. I declare you impotent in the name of Jesus Christ. I break down your walls. I break down your arsenals. I break down your arsenals and I break down your machineries. I decree and declare according to the word and the power and authority in the name of Jesus that I'm rising above you. You cannot keep me down. You cannot shut me out. The doors are opening for me of their own accord. I enter into my wealthy place. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. For the King of glory is about to come in. Who is this King of glory? Is the Lord God Almighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is in me and he works in me. For he that lives and wakes with me is bigger than he that lives and wakes with the world. And so I operate in the fullness of what I carry and I possess my possession. I attack my attackers and I pull down my oppressors in the name of Jesus Christ. Makato Brade Zika, Janta Lepo Rusa Tabanda. I refuse to be limited. I refuse to be limited. I stand in the name of Jesus and I declare because I build everything I have on you, my solid rock. I decree and declare that when the wind of destruction blows, I will not sink. My business will not sink. My children and my family members will not sink. In the name of Jesus, I declare that my marriage, whatever the wind is from the north, east, south and west, will not sink by the power that's in the name of Jesus. My finances stay on the solid rock because I build it upon the revelation of the name of Jesus. I declare, let the winds toss. They will not sink in the name of Jesus. None of my investments, wherever they are on the face of the earth, it is written, let the men say there is a casting down, but I will say there is a lifting. And I so declare that no wind will blow away any of my investments across the globe in the name of Jesus. I speak concerning my health. I decree and declare that every wind that has been set out for destruction over my life as I stand because of the blood and in the name of Jesus, I decree that my health will not sink. My soul is already protected in the revelation of the name Jesus. Because you said in your word, it reads above all things that I would prosper and be in health even as my soul's prospering. I declare that my soul will not 
give way to the wind of destruction I speak into my ministry the one that you have given unto me Lord as my responsibility I declare that nothing would sink the boat of my ministry in the mighty name of Jesus I remain strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and I declare that my spiritual life is not sinking in the mighty name of Jesus whatever wind of destruction that had been set out against it it will not respond to it in the name of Jesus Lord God because you are always with us in Jesus name and we have we live in you and move I stand in faith and walk in the authority you have given to put an end to every storm raging in my life in the name of Jesus I declare that every wind of destruction in my life Life that come you come to an end right now in the mighty name of Jesus I disconnect myself from every source of the wind of destruction I disconnect my business from every source of the wind of destruction I disconnect my family I disconnect all that the Lord has given unto me from the source of the wind of destruction that inadvertently or mistakenly I allowed to happen I declare that we are disconnected right now in the name of Jesus every wind that of evil personality acting as the sponsor of the wind of destruction be it a man or woman witches and wizards incantation divinations against me against my marriage against my children against my children's children against my business my church today I declare you you are exposed and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus and I also decree that every force of darkness that I've been sent to blow the wind of destruction in my direction this season and even now I resist your force suddenly by the power of the name of Jesus and I declare you to Caesar I declare you Caesar I decree peace but still to every storm that is blowing against my health right now and against my children's health right now in the name of Jesus I decree the peace but still to every wind blowing against my marriage my sisters my brothers marriage I decree peace be still to every wind blowing against my academics in the name of Jesus I also decree peace be still to every storm blowing against my finances in the mighty name of Jesus I speak and I decree on the authority of the name of Jesus Peace be still to every wind blowing against every of my blessings. You that have been waiting and hanging in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I declare that that wind ceases. I frustrate every gang up of the evil ones concerning my career and destiny and those of my children and my children's children, my husband, my wife. I declare you every gang up. It is written you shall gather but not by me says the Lord and every gathering because you gather you will be scattered for my sake in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that the wind of doctrine all destruction that has been sent he shall not blow against any one that has to do with me in the name of Jesus I speak that every wind of destruction that has been programmed to blow against me even in the future it is written Jesus the same today and forever even yesterday he is God I declare that such satanic programming be cancelled right now and deactivated in the mighty name of Jesus and I speak to you the programmer be disappointed because it is reading he made diviners mad and he frustrates the token of the wise right now you are frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus and every wind program against my children to block their transition into their next levels of success 
I cancel you programs in the mighty name of Jesus because you are the winds of destruction. It is written who is it that speaks and it comes to pass. Associate yourself, all ye people. You were discarded for my sake. Oh, speak the word. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. That every word that was spoken to bring destruction and destruction over my life, my business, my health, my children, my church, even my nation, that today they are brought to naught in the name of Jesus. I declare you evil programmers set up by the enemy that today you are put to shame. You will flee seven ways in the mighty name of Jesus. And every wind of destruction blown uh, by household enemies, even within the family, against my life, I decree you, you be still in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil altar sponsoring the wind of destruction against my life and my children, my family, my business, my career and everything that has to do with me. I decree that you be destroyed by the wind that comes from the Lord. Physically, we cannot always outrun the ailments of our bodies, sicknesses and injury that take hold of us. And we are not always healed to the original state of our health. We are mentally bombarded and pulled by unfiltered thoughts threatening to run away with our self-esteem on a daily basis. In all of these, our assurance is rested on your victory, on Calvary. And this is the position we set ourselves upon as we exercise our authority in Jesus' name. Your word says on Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. The book of John 10.10 10 reminds us that Lord God, you said the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it in full. Father, this is our Mount Zion and we're here to possess our possessions. We're bringing our hearts to focus on your truth as the start of each day, expecting a battle, but much more also deliverance. Father, in overwhelming moments, help us to recall the truth of Psalm 32 verse 7. You said in your word, you are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Everyone hiding and running helter skelter as a result of the deluge of enemies of Sainos, we declare that in the name of Jesus, your deliverance starts now. We declare that you receive the power to overcome your overcomers and overtake your overtakers. We receive help in the name of Jesus to break free from the bondage of insecurity. And every voice of the enemy that has drowned the voice of God and his truth, we silence it and bring every imagination that wants to raise itself above the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. We receive the grace to hear louder, the spirit to help us hear the truth instead of the lies. And we fix our eyes on you and all you are in Jesus' name. Lord, we exercise our new covenant faith that speaks better things than that, even of those of fathers of faith that have gone before us in bravery with courageous faith in your protective hand of deliverance. You said we shall take up serpents and scorpions and nothing shall by any means hurt us. We speak and affirm that those serpents, enchanters, enchantment, diviners and marauders that he that all have been troubling us today max their end in the mighty name of Jesus. We render their powers powerless. We say no weapon formed against us shall prosper and any tongue that rises up in judgment against us is condemned already. We escaped as bird from the snares of the fowler in the name of Jesus. Just as David defeated Goliath against all odds, and even after the run for his life from King Saul, he cried out to you in faith to deliver him, even after he made terrible mistakes. But you delivered David 
Lord, we are coming knowing that in spite of everything, you will deliver us. Father, you said, even in the lawful captives shall be set free. Is there anyone that has been put himself or herself in the mess she or he is going through? We declare them delivered by the virtue of their acceptance of Jesus. Even Paul who tortured and had other Christians killed, you never left him. You delivered him from eternal damnation for the fact that he received you as his Lord and Savior. Lord, we declare that we are delivered. We are set free. We are declared already delivered in the name of Jesus. And I speak to everyone that has been ensnared by sicknesses and diseases by the power that's in the name of Jesus that they are delivered right now because the Bible says himself he took away our infirmities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are made whole we declare every sickness and disease right now just like Jesus delivered that woman that came into the temple we declare you delivered in the name of Jesus Christ I speak right now is there anyone in the captivity of the enemy I declare you free by the virtue of the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ I speak in the name of Jesus is there anyone that has been put in the trap of lack of understanding even as they study and read they still cannot assimilate by the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ I declare you delivered from that trap in the name of Jesus I speak deliverance to nations and world that have been captive of witches and wizardry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that these nations are delivered is there any man or woman that has been made captive by the word that has been spoken by witches or wizards wherever you are today I decree and I declare you loosed from the bond the Bible says who is it that speaks and it comes to pass when God himself has not spoken every word every enchantment every divination made and spoken against you today I decree that you are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus perpetual lack and bondages of indebtedness I declare you free and delivered from it in the mighty name of Jesus Father we thank you we thank you because you've gone before us even before we spoke we declare that for the old ones Lord God that their sight would not go deemed just as you gave Abraham Jacob and the saints of old and even now we declare that we will see clearly and have the ability and capability we tap into that and declare the legacy that had been written in the word and declare that we'll leave under Goshen wherever we are in the face of the earth in the name of Jesus because you have said wherever the soles of our foot shall touch that place has been given unto us no matter what it is how difficult it had been for the land but by the fact that we are the Lord's anointed and the promise of God is upon us we declare that that place will become productive for us in the mighty name of Jesus we declare also that our strengths will find platforms for expression and we shall not leave or our children leave in obscurity in the mighty name of Jesus the limelight will be ours because you said we are cities that are on the hill and we will be seen as our lives shine and shine brighter until the perfect day in the name of Jesus Lord what we have guarded will not be scattered we declare that every spirit that destroys and scatters that which has been guarded we decree in the name of Jesus that will not find its place in our lives in the name of Jesus it is written Lord God Almighty that which we have planted we will eat out of it and strangers will not drink the wine that we have made in the mighty name of Jesus we declare that we have labored and it shall not be wasted nor destroyed by the enemy as it happened in the days of Gideon 
We declare that every spiritual media night that had been assigned by the devil to destroy that which we have planted by the powerless in the name of Jesus. We destroy their efforts in the name of Jesus. Whatever that has been identified with us as our trophy and as our reward and goodwill will not be lost to our enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not take that which our hands has labored for. In the name of Jesus, we declare that those things that we truly deserve will come to us without stress because Lord God, a little effort that will put for our job will bring great results in the name of Jesus. Our hands shall touch the words of our efforts and shall be enjoyed by each one of us and our families in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you will grant unto us more and more opportunities to do exploits in the name of Jesus because you will give unto us uh, ideas of witty inventions uh, in the name of Jesus. We have creatorial abilities. Uh, we have solutions uh, to every problem of every man. Father God, because our mouth will bring solution that will kiss the lips of us uh, because we have answers uh, to their difficult questions in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we will not stop rising even in retirement because the wisdom of creativity and invention will keep coming from us and within us as we carry on with our sound minds in the mighty name of Jesus just as you gave productivity for Abraham that in old age Lord he was able even to marry and have more children so shall it be with everyone hearing the sound of my voice as it believes in the name of Jesus that nothing he or she does uh, would ever die at any certain age in the name of Jesus. We decree that we and our children we attain great heights and levels in our lives, in our businesses, in our callings, at whatever stage we decide to get to in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that our grounds produce double fold rewards. Uh, Lord, we will sow and we will reap a hundredfold return. We declare we shall never find our baskets empty. We are blessed coming in and we are blessed going out. We are blessed in our food and we are blessed in our basket. Our blessings shall overflow and become blessings to nations. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak into our businesses. We declare none shall be destroyed because we attract goodness wherever we go. Favor on our left and favor on our right. Nothing dies in our hands in the name of Jesus. And our hands does not produce sprinkles. Indeed, it produces abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood over nations and ask for total liberation and healing from lack and want. No longer shall few have power over greater number. Our reapers shall meet up with us and our plowmen shall have us and harvest shall meet harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. And so I declare in the name that is above every other name that I receive the knowledge of weighty inventions. And I declare that I'm a solution provider, that I'm filled in my lips with the right answer anywhere I go in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that I do not lack wisdom because I ask of you who gives me liberally. God, I thank you because you fill me with skill and all kinds of works regarding my chosen work and profession. I know that what to do at every given time, I am not at loss of solutions in the name of Jesus. As I wait upon you, Lord, I receive insights into situations, interpretation of difficult dreams, just as you gave Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, and as you gave Joseph, Lord, I thank you because you've given me divine strategies to unique situations, Lord. I know that men wait for me because I happen to be the solution giver to those difficult situations they find themselves. I thank you because I never run out of visions because you breathe upon me and my eyes are open to great and mighty things that people know not. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, because you reveal the hidden riches of the secret places to me and for me to give to the world in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I thank you that ideas that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, no heart has it come to, no thought of, Lord God, I thank you because you reveal them to me and you empower me to act on them accordingly in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because, Lord God, I know I have clarity of ideas. They are plain to me and for me. And now the vision help us in order for us to run with it. And I decree that every wisdom and vision that you have given me that is birthed in my spirit, that it receives clarity even this moment in the name of Jesus. No matter how difficult it is, Lord God, as long as I call upon you, as Daniel did concerning the vision and the dreams of the king, Lord, no matter what it is, you will reveal to us even as we stand before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because the timing of our ideas shall never be delayed. We give timing and timely ideas as at when due. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare that they will not come later or come before. In the name of Jesus. And I know that what I ought to do per time and per season, just like the sons of Issachar. I decree that I would not delay the birth of the idea you have given unto me. Because I will not abort the idea that has been birthed inside of me in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the courage that is needed to launch out with the little resources by time as I receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you because every of my idea will come to fusion, be it in business ideas or ideas how to tackle family, financial and spiritual issues. I receive ideas that would cause kings and world leaders to seek me daily and ideas that will solve problems at global scale and global perspective in the name of Jesus. And I resist the spirit that will cause me to despise or doubt the ideas that God will give me during its little beginnings in the name of Jesus. I say and I speak that my ideas will grow exponentially. They will move from local to global because of God's anointing for divine acceleration upon my life in the name of Jesus. I have the ability to use my ideas to produce wealth. There is a great confidence in me. I trust you, God, enough to know that my labor, when it comes to you, my God, the given idea that comes is not in vain. I thank you, Lord God, because you have not given unto me the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind that I will, Lord God, explain and talk about that idea without fear of favor in the name of Jesus. I declare that fear would not stop me from implementing the ideas that you have birthed in my spirit, no matter how big or foolish they look in the mighty name of Jesus. I am confident of this very thing, that that which you have begun as a good work in me, even as an idea that looks like a mustard seed, will be performed and it will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. And as I began to take steps towards implementing my divine ideas, I declare that they will come to fusion. You will give me runners and vision helpers as I commit my works unto you, Lord. My ideas therefore will be established and my ideas will yield profitably in the name of Jesus. I take action and faith that my ideas come alive and are real. I attract the resources to implement every one of them. And I honor you, Lord God, with my wealth and with the best part of everything as I receive them in the name of Jesus. And I declare also that as I receive the productivity of that which my idea will bring, that my barns will be filled with grain and my verse will overflow with good wine. And I declare that every time I subscribe to the principles of tithing, whenever I am sowing into others that give me inspiration, that I experience more of everything. I am wise, therefore, I have access to wealth and luxury because I am a good steward over the resources I have in my business. And this same God Almighty who takes care of me would supply of all of my needs according to your glorious riches which has been given to me in Christ Jesus. 
and it is enough for me. And Lord God, I thank you because you will provide all I need. Then I will always have everything I need and plenty left over to share with others. Lord God Almighty, I trust in you because I have made you my hope and confidence. I am like a tree that is planted along the river bank with roots that reach deep into the waters. My delight is always in you and you give me the desires of my heart and therefore for every season you give me ideas that will be a blessing to those in my generation. I use whatever idea that I receive to serve others as a faithful steward of your grace in various form. Father, I have been faithful over the small things and I'm here asking you in the name of Jesus Christ that you help me to be faithful over the large things that are coming my way by the virtue of my promotion. I pray like Jabez prayed that you, Lord, enlarge my territory. Promote me to the next level of my responsibility. Take me to my expanded city that requires my next level. I ask that even as I step in there, you will guide my steps and priorities that I would not falter when it comes to choices. Father, I ask that you help me to increase my faith as I wait on you without fidgeting or fear and doubt, trusting you completely to move every hindrance and obstacles out of my path. You told me in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that you know the thought that you have for me, the thought of good and not of evil to give me an expected end. Lord, I am sure that you have a plan and purpose for my life even before I was formed in my mother's womb that no man can alter. Therefore, I ask in the name of Jesus that you give me a vision and revelation that shows me the path that you want me to go as I reach my promotion. I promise to follow you all the days of my life as we expand my understanding of that which you have in store for me. Lord, continue to speak to me as I ask that all channels of my spirit open up to receive in your divine instructions for my promotion and how I am to strategize for it. Give me your clear direction and dreams and visions in your word and help me to be bold and confident as I perform my responsibilities without cutting corners. Lord, your gifts make rich and add no sorrow. Therefore, I make a decree that, Father, my promotion and success will not turn out as thorn in my flesh. I know that as I grow materially, my growth shall not be lopsided, but that I will also increase spiritually. I receive help to live beyond the ephemeral, but living according to your reality. Lord, I make commitment to you that I am one that will constantly give you the glory and honor in everything I do. Thank you for using me in a mighty way as my success should draw men and women to you alone in Jesus' name. Have your way in my life. I thank you for all that you have done and I am expecting to receive more blessings for me and my families for years to come. I know that promotion does not come from east or from west. Rather, it comes from you who gives it to whosoever you wish. Father, in the name of Jesus, wherever it looks as if that, that which was supposed to be my promotion has been taken away from me, like you remembered Mordecai and gave the king a sleepless night, let everyone that has sat on my success and promotion have no rest or sleep. Turn the plan of every Haman that has planned the downfall over my life to return to the sender. I take my place and declare that as the princes and princesses, we take our places. No more shall servants ride on horses while we work on ground. All the delay that has kept our promotions and success on hold, we break the chains and declare our freedom and time of rejoicing is now. For every shame we receive a double, for every delay we receive replenishment, a small one shall be a thousand amongst us. No longer are we in obscurity, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are a city that's on a hill that cannot be hidden. 
Everywhere we go, it's success. No giant has power to bring us down as we carry the one greater than them inside of us. The promotion that I have, Lord Jesus, is not the one that the world would give unto me because it comes from you, Lord God, that gives promotion. I decree and declare that this promotion is permanent. I would not be lifted up and then the next minute I'm down. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more retrogression for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare because I am a city set on a hill, I decree and declare I shine brighter and brighter. I decree that plow men and rippers would meet at points because it shall be blessing upon blessing upon blessing for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, look God, I attract favor. The people I know not, I decree and declare because of your hand upon me will honor me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, Lord God, because I know that your wisdom that comes with promotion will rest upon me. I no longer would walk with my hand bent down in the name of Jesus. I arise tall and I exhibit the kingdom authority in the mighty name of Jesus. I am grateful, Lord God, because my promotion is not small. It is not stagnated. From glory unto glory is mine in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast down imaginations and high things that want to exalt themselves above the knowledge of God in my life and my children, even my husband, my wife's life in the name of Jesus. The Bible says I have a sound mind because the Lord has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love and of power. And so I decree and declare that I have the mind of Christ. Therefore, I think on things that are above. I declare my health prosperous. I have divine health and as it is written, healing is my bread. By his tribes, I have been made whole. And I declare and decree that no sickness, no disease has permission to prosper in my body. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to every bacteria, virus that comes in contact with my system to die instantly in the name of Jesus. My food and my water, even the one that I erroneously would take that is poisonous, shall not have any effect on me or harm me because I am covered by the blood of Jesus. No attack against my health just prosper and every terminal disease. I don't care the report because I believe in the report of the Lord that has been given unto me. I speak to you every terminal disease threatening my health or the health of my children or my children's children. The one that has not even been revealed that the enemy will want to bring. I declare that today you are terminated in the name of Jesus because it is written if the same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwells inside of me, he will be able to quicken my mortal body. I declare that my body is quickened. I am a partaker of God's divine nature, so my mortal body is quickened. I am strengthened in the might of God's power. I put on the whole armor of God to stand against every attack from the evil forces. I speak to you principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places, the ones living within and underneath the earth. By the Father's in the name of Jesus, I declare that every fairy dead is quenched and crushed in the name of Jesus. I declare that every fairy dead of the wicked through the faith that I have in Christ Jesus, your power is revoked in the name of Jesus. Every thought that passes through my heart will obey Christ, affecting the will of God in my life henceforth in the name of Jesus. I declare that every situation in my life that is contrary to the will of God, I'm declaring you that has come into my life that is causing me shame or reproach. Be subject to the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I declare you situations that you come to an end in the name of Jesus. I receive double blessings for every trouble in my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because I'm victorious in you. I assert that victory today over every long-standing battle in my life, be it debt, be it project that has proven that it cannot ever be completed. I am an overcomer. I overcome the world with my faith and I declare that sin will not have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke spirits of destruction and misplaced priorities in my life in the name of Jesus. I come against spirits of worldliness and forces that keep me focused on pursuing the cares of this world and the detriment to my spiritual life and of the kingdom. I declare your power is broken over me in the name of Jesus. I put on a new man. I am spiritually minded and I am filled with life of godliness in the name of Jesus. I bind every forces that are inflicting me with weakness and prayerlessness. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your power today becomes powerless in the name of Jesus. I paralyze your efforts over me in the name of Jesus. I come against spiritual laziness and complacency. Today, you are broken over my life in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke and bind demons that are frustrating me financially and all of my efforts that are making money that makes it fruitless. Today, the Bible says, everyone that works has the right to have his wages. You cannot stop me from having my wages. And so I declare you powerless over me in the name of Jesus. I declare that henceforth that I make good profits and my profits shall increase until I become exceedingly wealthy as Abraham was in the mind name of Jesus no matter the scarcity in the land no matter the drought in the land no matter the farming in the land I declare that I was so and my soul will bring back a thousand fold return for me in the name of Jesus the work of my hand is blessed and I'm enjoying divine prosperity that is in the name of Jesus the eyes of my understanding are open to see my business in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare that every spirit that blinds my business from being seen that causes a confusion that people will come and move to the next today I declare you blind and curtains be destroyed in the name of Jesus I decree that there is an increase in patronage my business attracts my customers from every corner of the earth from north east south and west because it is written I will say to the east withhold not and to the south do give up in the name of Jesus I declare north give up I declare west give up my business attracts divine helpers investors and promoters in the name of Jesus and I declare that henceforth my business shall become renowned and shall glow global and spread abroad in the mighty name of Jesus I receive excellence favor and skill for promotion and real success on my job in the name of Jesus. I declare that no satanic invasion of my church with demons of lust, fornication and wilderness should prosper in the name of Jesus. I speak concerning the church of Jesus Christ that will stand strong and mighty and will tower above all the names and institutions of this world in the name of Jesus. I decree that the gates of hell shall not prevail over the advancement of the church as we move to reconcile lost souls to Christ in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare we invade a community, state and nations with righteousness once again in the mighty name of Jesus because it is written, righteousness exalts the nation and seen as a reproach. Today I declare we roll away every reproach over our church over the church of Jesus Christ. I take charge of my territory and I declare it a place of righteousness. I call the gates praise and its wall, I call it salvation. I declare the violence will disappear from the land of every nation that hears the voice that I mention right now. We will no longer have destructions or ruins within our borders. We declare that our leaders will be filled with righteousness and wise judgments and shall set them right every wrong places 
bill to escalate corruption and violence. Today we declare that they are destroyed. I bind every spirit of terrorism within our nations and our borders. I declare an end to their advancement. I declare peace be still from the north to every nook and cranny of my nation. By the powers in the name of Jesus, when men say there is a casting down in their businesses, I will continue to say lifting as my business will remain secure and be prosperous in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you, Lord God, grant me the strength and grace to make good practice the cornerstone of all that I do in my business. I should not do business in obscurity because your light shall shine upon me and great shall be those that come over to me. Father, I ask for grace for consistency and excellence in all I do. I will not work in mediocrity, just as an excellent spirit was found in Daniel, so shall he be found in my life and in my business. The purpose of my business shall be fulfilled. I make formidable impact in my world for your kingdom. I handle my business with the kingdom mindset and souls shall be brought to you brighter till the perfect day. Dear Lord, thank you for entrusting this enterprise into my hands. And Lord, I seek you first in all that I do. I commit the business, the workers and the customers into your hands. Help us to be successful in all that we do. Lord, bless the day, the works of my hands. And I confess that without you, I'm nothing. That it is in you that I put my trust completely. And as your word says that we should commit to you whatever we do, that you will establish our plans. I pray that you establish my business and make it stronger forever in the name of Jesus. In Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3, you say, Father, as I daily meditate on your word and day and night, I also strive to obey all you have instructed me in your word. Lord, I ask you that you prosper in my ways to give me good success in my work in the name of Jesus. I pray that from today, let all my investments and my labor become flourishing and yielding fruit in the name of Jesus. I commit the place of this business, even the situation of this business, even into your hands. Lord, as I go every day, let every experience be of favor in the name of Jesus. Also, Lord God Almighty, I pray that anyone that comes and steps into this place will receive the blessing that comes from me becoming your daughter. I pray, Lord God, that you always give me my best as I put in all the effort and make it successful as my duty is to walk in line and in light of your word. Lord, I ask for wisdom and understanding of even the workers that you've given unto me. Give me the understanding of their temperaments one after the other, that I'll be able to know how to relate with them in the name of Jesus. I pray that the hand of the devourer would not rest upon this business. I stand in the name of Jesus and I come against anything that will become an hindrance to the success and the promotion of this work in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every spirit of the palmer worm, the canker worm and the caterpillar. I decree and declare that they have none effect in my business in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that as I sow and I will reap a hundredfold in the name of Jesus. No resistance that will come from competition and jealousy will stand my way in the name of Jesus. For it is written, if the way of man pleases the Lord, you will make even his enemies to become at peace with him. I declare that my enemies will love my business. They will come to me. Gentiles shall come to the brightness of my rising and the people I know not will serve me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the surrounding of my business, every wall in my business is called praise and the gates of my business are called salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, I bless your name. I give you all the glory. I thank you because the work of my hands are blessed and I am not cursed in the mighty name of Jesus. I have abundance of everything that has to do with my business in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because I am not a failure. I am victorious on every side in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, because nations should come and ask for the business acumen that I use in the success of this business because of the knowledge that I receive from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Bakata lele boko zonde le brondo zika de le brondo lo zisha tala bagada bosa makata le da brande le gede boko so mero zonta le kapara da kota le barika teli bonde makata la banda le gebo shete libra de gebosa reko suta le bakanda barada boko zide le bogodo bosh makate kada bazandi Mekosu brendo zi kalebe suze bayando zo Leke te ligo bo shanta da 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 bagada la barada bogo zende Leko zita le brande le bo so te liga bayande le bosa But you beloved building yourself up in your most holy faith Praying in the Holy Ghost For as you pray in the Holy Ghost your understanding is taken out of the way And you begin to pray according to the pattern of heaven And so I release mysteries in the Holy Ghost Nisate Kaparondo Regezete Libro do Zuta Lega Bashanda Gadadaba Lako Kopo Zoto Lige Bo Zunda Brande Lege De Boza Kelada Boza Malanda Gatale Brande Gede Bosika Leziza Kotolo Bo Shonte Li Brande Dege Bos Reke Kezi Kataba Randa Lagadaba Gadadabo Zente Le kozuta le branda la gada baba kozuta jete le gede baze tolong do godon zenda bandi ke rosu sate kapanda le gede bo sonte li gada zuze kalesha ra gada bata la gada bo zonde ke lodo bo zunta le ga branda la ba ika kapa gazata la ba shente li ga brande le bo zende le zu sata kala ba shada da baranda gada bo ze Leke tika bo zunta le brande bo zuza balada Kalaji kate paranda baliza Rado go zoto lobo li barande gede Leki zakata bajanda Ke lo zozo bo koto li zika da boja Me ho koto baliza manda ya da basa Kale da bosa Kadana masante kata barado zinda Leze kete li ka bashanta Ezu si pare gede bo zalaba li kada bazo Mesu sata ka barada bonde Rege te li ka babarande boza How be it I release mysteries in the name of Jesus For in the name of Jesus I pull down mountains In the name of Jesus I declare that the walls be broken down In the name of Jesus I declare that the valleys be lifted up In the name of Jesus I declare that they be leveled up E masuta mahika parada bale Le suzo toko dobo rizanda badada Masata lagada bayande Eko suto lobo shanda barada balaba Who are thou O mountain before me I declare you be removed in the name of Jesus For that is the name that is above every name At the mention of the name every new bows and every tongue confess La sika barada bazande Leke zika taboza La shata gadabalada balada bozende Rika bazate gedebo Kaya ya baba badadada Leka padaba rakata la bande Esuta lega bashute liga Mezuza gadaba randa Kelele bogo dolobo zunte liba Rakato koto lobo shanta Leze kete libo ko zubrande lebo sha Ika irada baru zote liza bande Makanda balando ko zinde Lekika posu talemba ndegede Rege koko pala yaya badasa Kala da boko zonte lebo Ziza de gaba shanda da baba Reko zute liba Le gaba shanta lege debo Le ke zika to baya da baku seta la bonda He shata da baka te la bande Rika le debo zoto lobo shada barande kete Le ko zuta la baba yande bo siya Manda kuta la baya 
Zeka ya baba Yawe yawe kalabosa ya negedesa Lesi kaposhuta brende legede bogo dobo sonte ya Ezuta lika bande de bozunta ya bagada bosa Zika ya reko sonta ya Le bakure balanda ya Ike tende ke poko sunte libra nde kazi ya Reke tele bogo dobo zuta la bababa Kazata kaya ndaba legede boko zonto dobo Eza kato godo bogo dolo bonde gede lebo ziba ya nde gata yenda Le kada bayanda korolo bo zunta le bazuda bayanda la baya Reko zuta le bo shente li bayanda gada ba rasu talaba Rezu talabande gebozo bo Blessed be our God who causes us to triumph always Ada ba shande Riko zuta branda la ba Henceforth we walk and fight from the place of victory In the name of Jesus Ziba da ga baranda bayande boz Likatolo bonda Ezukata barada bagada badabaya Esokotolo bondo godolo bozi gadabande Lege dege de bo godolo boro godo bozunta Lazanta kadaba rako sotele bo Zeke te li kababa raga dolo bo Sike te li brande bo Mazi ke tele bo do kozi pa yanda gata Leke ziga bada bala gada la ba shanda da 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 Ragata kata gada ba gada la bo godo lo bo se Leke tika bada la ba shande le bo Kala da ba bande le gede Reko zuta la banda gada ba rada bo sa Mesuta le ba rinda katuze Le zupa yanda kala ba Holy Ghost kalesa Leko zopo koto lo bo shende Reka ba yanda da ba la do zonte Reko zuta la ba yanda ha Kalaba rasata la gadose Leke te liga ba roso tolo bo sha Da 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 Kate ya Leke te ke te ke boko dobo dobo Laza kata ba randege dege bo zonde Ika do zondo godo la bo sha Nta da bande Le brande gada bando ko zoto Le ziba Zeke te liba Rada kuzinta leka La kente kento lombonde ya Le zika panda ya sute Le zata yado ko bozo Me godo Koko zika tenga ndiyada Rada gaba katala baba Masa katala ba shanda ya bada Eke teke teleke degede bogodo Rega bando ko zonte leba Zika telebo rodo goboza Maye gada ba raga da bada gosa Eke tili baga da ba sante Leke lika pa zante Lebrondo zuta leka Majuta baraka talenda Kelo zoto gobodo Leke zika talabrande lebosha Raga da ba raga da ba ba la ga da ba Leko zuta prande le boza Reka zanta leka ba shante Eko sonda la bande ga da ba da da ba ya ga da La ga da ga ta la bande ge de Like poko zonto lo bo shamande la banda ya Ika ba da ga da ba da la bande ge de Mase ge de le bondo lo go boza Me go zuta le pa rega jata ya da la bodo Yese ke te li baba ya Le zoto lo go bonde Leko zuta Zuta brandele shanda ya Kaya da bosa Mali bosa Zeda ga bosa na baba ya Kaya da bosa Le zuta Zusa le shate ke Beloso da bande sota Mesoto lo bosa Rada kalaba da da bosa Na baya Zeh katalis Tabandos Hallelujah.